Hello, and welcome to my screencast on how to create cartoons out of still pictures from your classroom. Basically what I'm doing right now is just taking a video of what I'm seeing on my screen and then turning it into a movie that you'll be able to view in order to know what to do on your screen. And the first step is you're going to go to a website called BeFunky.com and they've developed this great cartoonizer. You can see some examples here where they just take a picture and it turns it into a cartoon, a charcoal drawing, um, a sketch with some color to it. Uh, the first step is to simply just go get started now. And you'll see you have several uh, different options on how you can do it. You can make it look like an Andy Warhol painting, a charcoal. The two that I tend to use are the scribbler and the cartoonizer. It doesn't really matter though which one you pick because once you select one and upload a picture, you'll be able to go from one uh, effect to another. Uh, it's going to immediately prompt me to upload a picture for my computer. I'm going to browse my files and you might keep your photos in a photo bin. Um, I, for the purpose of this, just went ahead and moved the photo to my desktop. I click on it. It's going to upload the image. I have a pretty slow internet connection, so when you're doing this, you'll probably get it done even quicker. And now the picture is uploaded. You can see it's a picture of me and my girlfriend in art opening with our artist friend. Gives you options where you can crop the picture, it takes certain people out, you can rotate to the left or to the right. But for the purpose of this, we're just going to go ahead and skip the editing and go straight to the cartoonizing effects. And we're in the scribbler here. I always like to pick this one on the far right. And it'll make it look like it's out of a comic book. And you can see we lose a lot of detail there. And so we click on more options. And it's going to allow us to show more or less detail. You just move it, hit apply. It'll load it up. And now the picture comes with more detail. You can see both of our mustaches coming in a little bit. Um, you got to be careful putting in too much detail. Then your pictures just start to look a little weird. Um, you can change the level of brightness in the photo and take it down. So once you get the picture the way you want it to look, the next step is just to go save. Um, before we save it though, I'm just going to real quick show you the cartoonizing effects. If you've ever seen the movie Waking Life, I think it looks a lot like that. And it's just really neat for your students to see themselves in the pictures from stories that you acted out in class or uh, demonstrating whatever it was you were doing. And all of a sudden it's them as a cartoon. And I think that, that really personalizes it for them and gives them uh, some reason to buy in. So once we have our picture exactly the way we want it, um, Let's say that I'd already set my color, sketch, and brightness details the way I wanted them. I'm going to go to Save. I'll go ahead and give it a title. Gallery Open Cartoon. I'm going to save it. I can either save it to my gallery. That requires you to actually log in and create a user account, which takes another 30 seconds. And then you can save all your pictures online as a gallery. Or you can just go ahead and save it to your desktop. And I'm going to do that. Go ahead and click Save. It prepares the image, which takes a second. It's ready. I'm going to click OK Download. It might make me look at an advertisement. Nope, didn't even make me. So now I've saved this picture to my desktop. I have this great cartoon image of me and my students from class. How can I actually use it in productive ways in class? Um, one great way to do it is going to be to open up a Word document, which I've already done right here and recreate your story in still pictures. So if we've acted out a story in class, I may have a student who has trouble staying on task take photographs of the story as we do it. And then I'll go through and pick five or six pictures in order from the story and do the cartoonizing effect on BeFunky.com in order to get these uh, cartoon pictures of my students. And then I'll have them do a retell. And a really easy way to do that, I'll go in and put in a table. Uh, let's say it's three boxes there. And in this first box, I'm going to go insert, go down to picture, from file. 
and I'll go find on my desktop the picture I just downloaded and it's going to put it in there if you click on the middle of the picture you'll see these boxes come up around it that's how you're going to be able to resize your picture so we'll just bring that in perfect and now on this side I can just draw some lines in And then it looks, if I had three, four, five, six pictures, I would just paste them in here, in here, and then I would end up having a one, two page worksheet in which they're retelling a story, but it's a story that actually has them in it. It's not just stick drawings that they've drawn. And the whole process took me an extra five minutes of my time and maybe it bought, brought in a whole lot of buy-in from my students. I hope you found this screencast helpful. Feel free to contact me if you have any questions whatsoever, noahpseudonym at yahoo.com.